Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, uh, we are going to be kind of doing a follow-up to my original video I made where I stacked the UDM Pros into a Shadow Gateway configuration. Um, Ubiquity has since sent me a RMA replacement for the primary gateway um, due to some weird crashing issues we've been having. Um, with that one, they, they determined by the log that there was nothing um, that was related to software. So at that point, they thought it was hardware. So they sent me a new UDM Pro um, to kind of swap out there. So um, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, but I will also take you along for a ride because there was an event we had um, where the UDM Pro did crash at 4 a.m. Um, and this was not a one-time event. It actually happened twice. So I'll walk you through that in this video and I will document everything along the way. Uh, this is the current router that we have here. We actually have two of them in a high availability pair when it works. Uh, right now, if I pull up Unify, um, I can probably tell you that it is not working. Um, but let me check. Yeah, the Shadow Gateway is currently offline. So that's one of the issues we're having here. Uh, first of all, the Shadow Gateway continues to go offline from time to time. And actually earlier today, I reset the Shadow Gateway and it all reconnected for about 10 minutes and then it all dropped out again. If you have not seen the video where I showed you guys how to stack the um, Ubiquiti UDM Pros together, uh, I highly recommend you check that out as well because uh, that will kind of go into more insight than I'm going to in this video of how to stack them together. I'm hoping to set this up as a primary by restoring from a backup. And then once that is done, I will then stack this to the secondary UDM that we already have in the rack. So with that being said, I'm going to go do that right now. So at this point, all of the issues uh, seem to be resolved. Um, the UDM was up, I got it installed. Everything worked out fine after probably an hour of troubleshooting. Um, the stacking was fine, everything worked. I went home for the night and I got an alert at about 4 a.m. And that's where we're going to pick this video up. Well, not at 4 a.m., actually at 8 a.m. Anyways, let's continue. All right, so it is now um, pretty early in the morning on a Saturday. And I got an alert last night at about 4 a.m. Um, that the network was off again here. Um, so obviously that's a huge issue, um, especially for Unify Protect. You can see here on the screen that it is actually not connecting to the NBR. So the typical fix has been to restart the router. But as you see, it's not even on a crashed screen. We're running 9.0.114 on the primary gateway. Um, the secondary gateway is completely unplugged because I believe that is what was causing some of our Dante issues. So with that being said, I have come in with my computer this morning and I'm going to attempt to try to grab some logs for Unify support. One thing you'll notice here is that in the state we are in, there's currently no DHCP. Um, which means when I plug my computer in to kind of uh, test out the network, I'm not grabbing an address. So I'm going to manually fill in an address that should be available. And we're going to see if I'm able to log in uh, to the UDM console now. Okay, so what this tells us is that in the crashed state we are in, I'm unable to ping any IP address. Uh, so what we're going to do here on the UDM is we're going to go over to settings and we are going to uh, restart the device. Now, uh, I've typically been doing a hard reset on the device. Um, I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to what I was doing. I was just doing that because that was the quickest way to get the internet here fixed. I would like to add one disclaimer on this is that it is possible that the port I plugged into is not on the default network and it's very likely that it's not on the default network. It's possible that the DHCP is still working or something but this VLAN doesn't have it. I'm pretty sure port 23 is actually the Dante network so it should have DHCP um, but that is just one disclaimer I did want to throw out there. Another note I'd like to add is that when these issues occurred with last night at 4 a.m. which means there was nobody here uh, I assume. So with that being said uh, there's no reason that the Dante issues could have caused the crash to happen. Um, I'm guessing the crash is something to do with shadow mode uh, because shadow mode is still enabled, but the console is off. That console is off. Um, so I'm not sure what that entails, uh, but I will say the um, NVR is still not on. Uh, but I do want to show you it is actually taking a little longer to boot this uh, console for some reason, um, which is also a concern. It has been stuck on this screen for a while now, so I'm going to go on the back and do a hard unplug of the device plug it back in. In the meantime, this device is now booting, so hopefully we can pretty much have one of these UDMs up soon. Uh, the reliability is kind of 
being a little concerning at this point. Uh, this has happened before. It's never happened at my house with the UDM Pro. Uh, only here where we have these stacked consoles. They typically sit at about 80% uh, CPU or memory usage, so it's, it's kind of a problem. So at this point we're seeing some odd things. This UDM says its uptime is now 29 days. Not even sure how that's possible. You just saw me unplug the power to it. This one is saying it's ready to take over, but it was synchronized four days ago. It's showing us offline on the shadow gateway screen for some reason. Again, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do, since we have two UDMs here, is I'm going to make another set of UDMs, taking this backup file and putting this onto these two uh, with the primary and backup gateways there. And I'm going to see if I can get um, not only um, the shadow gateway feature working, uh, but I'm going to be using the early access firmware, a new version that Unify support has recommended me to use. Okay, so at this point we have everything online. Um, I have done two things. First of all, I've gotten this uh, primary gateway back online and it is the normal version of Unify OS that I've been using. Uh, but what I also did is I took the shadow gateway and removed it from the um, shadow gateway feature and I turned that into its own console and I updated that to the early access firmware, which they told me would be more reliable. So I'm going to try that today. If there's no issues today uh, through my testing, I will probably leave it for the Sunday services tomorrow. Um, but if there is any issues, I can go back to the other console. It's still online um, on the older firmware and everything should be already adopted and ready to go. Um, it's just a matter of me moving a couple cables over and that should only take just a couple of minutes. So. Um, I do have that backup in place. It is a manual failover. There's no automatic shadow gateway failing over at this point. Um, I wanted to leave the manual option because I want to be able to say when I want the um, UDMs to fail over. And that's where I'm gonna leave it today in this video because I think we're at a good stopping point. So to kind of recap today, shadow mode, still pretty glitchy. Uh, the early access firmware is actually pretty good. I've been running it for about a week now and the early access firmware has not crashed nearly as much. Nah, it still has crashed, but um, not as bad. Um, I still do have to do the manual reboot of the device. Um, so by what I mean by that is I have to manually unplug it, plug it back in for it to work. Um, the auto failing over for Shadow Gateway does not seem to work. Um, the devices do not stay synchronized through the Shadow Gateway process or whatever it's called. Um, they don't, the Shadow Gateway basically does not stay online is what I'm getting at. So it's really annoying. The UDM Pro during these outages, um, it, it completely stops communicating with anything. Um, I mean, you can't talk to it on the network. Um, you can't set a static IP and ping it. You can't, um, none of the client devices will connect to each other as well. So as you saw earlier in the video uh, with the NVR not working, um, you literally can't have Unified Protect recordings working. So um, it's kind of frustrating, but um, I do want to end this video off by saying I really do appreciate Ubiquity support. Um, I'm probably going to include this video um, with my response to them because I think this video could be some helpful insight, um, but I really do appreciate all that they've done for me. Um, they are really helping me out with this issue as well as my Pro AV issue uh, that you probably will see in a future video. Um, so great stuff Ubiquity is doing. I really do love their products. Um, and I think once we get to the bottom of these issues, like the Ubiquity um, system that we have will be rock solid. So. Really excited to get there, but until then, thank you guys for watching. Um, have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.